do you want to come to my party? Sorry? You can if you want. Sorry, what was that? Do you want to come? Do you to, want to come? To what? Yeah. Good. Yes. Good. Tell me. Yes. Are you human too? Yes. Tell me. Are you? No case. Are you human too? Yes. Are you? <laughs> what a strange girl. And just what was this party I was being invited to? Well, after a few phone calls I established that it was in fact a wedding, and that yes, I had been invited. But by whom? Who was that strange girl? And who the hell is she getting married to? And most importantly, should I accept that invitation? I set off on a quest to answer these questions of mine, which began in Brighton where a cat and the two people she shared a house with denied that the groom was addicted to helium. But the groom's mother did offer an artistic defence of her son's actions. So you have this child's pure voice suddenly and then there's a very deep kind of strange falsetto going downwards. Instead of Maybe this meant that the groom was some kind of a singer. I got hold of a tape which shed a bit more light on the matter. Can you please sing that song? No. Why not? You're so self-conscious. My God, you got I'm on the not... stage to do something. You can't barely sing in my video that I'm the eye I'm going to watch. Bollocks. Oh, please. Please, Sam. No, I've got to go. And you Sam! Can... Ow! Fuck's sake. No, because I don't really know the tune to that. Go on, sing the boy then. I don't know the tune to that. No! No. He didn't know the tune to Boy Band the Musical, but according to this man, he did sing and dance in it. So he was a, an actor of some sort. John then treated me to a private dance, or was else attempting to tell me that I was simply using him. Exploitation, baby. Exploitation. But enough of John. I wanted to know how I could spot the groom in a crowd, or more to the point, a wedding. I don't know, he poses a lot. Um, Whenever you take a photo of him, he's already got his, his pout prepared. And... The, the big hair has been quite a theme of Sam's uncle. Hair was, has been a feature of Sam since he was born. He came out literally like shock-headed Peter. His hair was standing on it. He had all his hair. It had been obvious to me right from the start that this Sam was getting married to the odd girl who I'd met at the beginning of this film and who he had met at university, although I'm not sure how he found the time, what with being screamed at by pubescent girls, asked to do things by Pete Postlethwaite, you put some bloody clothes on. And then dying. As an aside, here's the bride dying 20 years earlier. But the boy who was very nearly called Merlin did meet the girl who was called Sarah, but who ended up being named after Pinocchio! And who will now be called Pin Crane. But not this type of Pin Crane. That's a, that's a crane made out of pins. But my quest continued and I ended up following Sam all over the globe before getting my hands on some home footage of Pin's life. Such as this video, filmed by her father, who wanted to know the answer to a very important yes. question. What are you trying to do? What are you going to try to do? Are you going to try and launch a kite? What are you doing when you've got it I'm on? filming you, asking you what you're trying to do. What are you trying to do, Teddy? I want to fly my kite. Yes, but why are you flying a kite? What are you going to try to do? What are you, what are you trying to do, Teddy? Pin gave him a straight answer. I'm going to go to the other end of the kite and put one tuck on it. But he then asked me the same question. What do you think you're trying to do? I'm trying to work out whether it's worth going to your daughter's bloody party. Anyway, it appears that the bride's life went something like this. After being exhibited in Whitechapel Art Gallery and then nearly served up for dinner by her dad, she then had a run-in with this man, 
known as Uncle Cuthbert and probably still on the loose, or else at the wedding. Pin then spent some time with another strange man and his homemade propeller, but it probably just served to strengthen her up a bit and instill in her a desire to be on film. Hello, this is the news today. Pin, you don't always put yourself in the way. Which continued all the way up into adulthood. More. So this is dress number one and makeup number one. Okay. But by the time she entered university, or the groom's catchment area, where she did receive a very high standard of education. No matter how far or how fast you run, we're still in the space where you are. She was actually spending most of her time putting others under the spotlight. <laughs> and occasionally pissing them off too. Excuse me. What do you think about um, the protest that's going on right now? <laughs> when Sam turned up on the scene, however, the tables turned yeah, yeah. once yeah. more. Oh, for <laughs> How boring can you get? It's not interesting. It is very interesting. What sort are you doing? What sort are you doing? I can't make it very different. You can do that without filming, you know. Quite. And then in the Pitt Rivers Museum, really Pin made a very big life decision. That's why I'm not going to be a filmmaker anymore. I just think it's like fucking... Uh, or a photographer. So far, my quest had established that this wedding was going to be for two very complex individuals. And with Uncle Cuthbert quite possibly present, I thought that I should probably stay at home. But I do love a good party. Especially ones with UV lights and painted logs. I said, oh, how about putting fluorescent paint on the logs and then having a UV light? And Pin says, oh, Mum, that's so 80s. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I'm not having that. Uh, well, I can only hope people will be behaving themselves. I think I'll be more pissed than ever in my life. Bloody hell. And what about the rest of the party goers? Will you be dancing at the wedding? Will I be? Yeah. Probably. Unfortunately. We're going to Dark be doing slot. salsa. But we are get we've just come back from Cuba. We are <laughs> going to salsa. We know how to salsa. <laughs> Blimey. But at least these two seem to have their heads screwed on. We'll be very, very, very happy. <laughs> and and in, demure, uh, in control and demure. Yeah. And, and that's good of them. And I was told to expect a bit of singing. So that's something. And we used to sing this song to her. Uh, and Vaughan used to uh, play it on the piano. It was, uh, take, take that dummy away. Uh, you're far too old for dummies now. Take that dummy away. We've seen a John, a John, 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 a bad, bad, bad King John. Bad, 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 bad King John. And she was, uh, I, I forget how the rest of the tune went. The bad King John, the bad King John, what did he eat one night? It's the sort of song that you, you dread when you get married, don't you? It's the sort of thing that somebody's going to sing it. <laughs> hmm. I was still in two minds, so I decided to ask for a spot of advice from some of those who are close to the bride and groom. But all I got was a load of advice that wasn't meant for me at all. Hi, Penny. Here's some advice from me, Brie Vanderkamp, to you on your special day. You need to know how to get those really stubborn stains out of your husband's shirt. Well, I always find that rather than waste good wine, it's easier just to get a new husband. Goodbye. Fairly normal friends and family then. Don't become boring too soon. Uh, keep calm. And have lots of babies. <laughs> 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 not soon, not soon, no rush. My mum reckons she'll be knocked up by Christmas. <laughs> I've told her that, she knows that, it's fine. Oh dear, that hardly helped. What was I to do? I mean, was I to go to the wedding? Do you want to come to my party? Well, Penny, I've actually been thinking quite you a lot. if you want. Thank you, thanks. Do you want to come? Well, you want to come? Hey. Tell me. I'll come. Are you human too? Yes, Penny. Yes, I'm human. I'm sorry to say, but this is the end of the program. Bye! Right. 
That's it, there's nothing left. <laughs>